anyways, the point of the story is that I fucked this all up. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And as a lot of you know from watching even the first abandoned barn video, renovation video, I don't, I haven't really figured out what we're calling yet. Barn renovation videos. Anyways, a lot of you know from that video and videos prior that we have all these ugly shelves in here that are right in the middle and just taking up all kinds of room. Don't mind all the gym equipment that's coming later. All these shelves in the middle. Oh, hi, kitties. Look at the kitties. Hi. Hi, kitties. They're crazy. But all of these, we're taking them down. They're in the way. They're ugly. Like, yeah, they were probably useful at some point in time, but they're not very useful for us. We're going to keep these ones because it's where our totes are right now until we can redo the garage and actually get, like, real shelves in here. Or the garage. I call this a garage because I kind of want it to be a garage eventually. I want to do a garage door right there. But for now, these are going to stay here and stay on the floor. Sorry, I'm super congested and ugh, <coughs> sinuses are going crazy right now. But we're going to rip all these down. Get them out of the way. Not saving the wood. They're just cheap plywood strips, literally. It's not even like a 1x4. They're plywood strips that are cut down to like... One by three length, or three quarter by three, and then after we do the shelves, we're doing this. I have to start taking down the floorboards. I'm gonna save the good ones from here and put them on that side when we do it, because that side's gonna stay um, like hardwood floor, and this side is gonna get plywood. I thought about just placing the plywood right over the wood that's already there, but then I got a lip up there and then I can use this to repair that floor over there because that side is pretty beat up. It's pretty beat up. So instead of just laying it over it, I'm going to actually use it and recycle it and try to save some money on, on wood. I also got to reinforce the floor joists, the bad ones, like this one's pretty bad. There's, there's a couple of them. There's about seven of them that are pretty shot. So we're going to reinforce those when we do the floors too. And instead of showing you guys me tearing it down, cleaning it up, everything like that, because that's boring. I don't even want to do it. You're welcome. We're just going to teleport. So, before, and we'll see you in a minute. Whoa, look at that. We got them all down. It's still quite a mess in here, but all the shelves are down in the center of the barn. So now I, I can get the floor out of here I can get all this junk out of here, get it smelling better in here. Man, it's way better. It doesn't look like it on camera, but there is so, so much more room in here now without those shelves in the middle here way way more room i am very 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 happy about that <sighs> we're definitely not doing we were planning on going to the pool today we're not doing the pool today it's actually raining out right now uh still raining out we're supposed to be there at 12 30 and it's 11 o'clock so i don't think we're gonna do the pool um i don't know if i'm gonna get to the floorboards up top i might tear out the floor down here because it stinks in here. It stinks really, really bad. So I figured if I'm having a fire because I got to burn. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys the pile. Because I got to burn all of the wood anyways. I got to burn all this anyways. So I figured we might as well rip up the floor here. And just add that to the burn pile. I'm going to get those, those pallets off of this trailer because that's good wood i want to save that wood um and then use the trailer to take all this firewood back around the back side of the barn and burn it there and load up 
all that flooring because that flooring is disgusting like i mean just saturated gross i shouldn't even be touching my mouth because i didn't wear gloves but my beard or mustache is in my mouth and it's driving me nuts but yeah look at that i'm i'm stoked that those shelves are gone now like yeah we still got stuff stacked here but there's so much more room it's gonna be so much nicer now having those shelves out of here like i'll put them along the wall or this wall but i just didn't want them right in the middle anymore there's so much more room in here like you could actually park a car in here so yeah that's that step done now i gotta get the floor out whoa i can't do the floor yet i can't do the floor until i can put stuff upstairs because all this stuff has to go upstairs instead of just sitting in the dirt because there is like treadmill the rower electronics stuff like that that i don't want just sitting on the dirt so shoot i can't do that so maybe i will start tearing apart the floor upstairs i don't really know yet i guess we'll find out here in a minute okay so i'm not positive if i'm gonna actually start tearing up the floor up here that's what sucks like this floor is good except for a couple of spots but whatever it's gotta come up it's gotta come up and i'm gonna use that to redo this side which is a lot 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 worse but what i'm gonna do right now is pitch all this wood out the loft doors get all these random pieces of wood that are covering up holes get them out while i got the fire going get things burned up and like i mean just clean up some of this mess so that when i do actually come in here and start tearing up the floor i can actually tear up the floor instead of wasting time cleaning all this stuff up lighting a new fire blah 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 blah. you get the gist of it so let's take a little look here we got lots of stuff to clean up and it's all going out that door brandy's actually outside working in the garden i don't know if you can see her no she's over there she's outside working in the garden so i'm gonna help her i'm just gonna keep Slowly coming up here and grabbing pieces of wood and adding it to the fire. So, here's before. And here's after. And look at that. Got her all cleaned out. There was a lot of wood there. There was a lot. There was a bunch of, I still got like shingles back here. Then I got to move, but I actually had to move those. Those are good shingles. I need that to fix the corner of the barn. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, we got our baby gate. That's, that's our baby gate. We're not throwing that away, but it's a lot cleaner in here. It's a lot cleaner in here. Um, I'm not doing the floors today because that's just, that's a big project. That's a really, really big project. Um, this is about half of the wood. Yeah, I already burned half of it, and I'm, I'm just done. It's uh, Independence Weekend, it's 2.30. I was helping Brandy do the garden and everything like that too. Sorry, you can't see me. I was helping Brandy do the garden and everything like that too, so I was kind of putzing in and out of here, but I'm, I'm real happy with this so far. This is something that tomorrow I'll probably get up here, and like you can see all the holes in the floor now. Like, they're everywhere. These are actually, like, service holes for something that I don't know what they were for. But, like, there's rot and mouse holes and all kinds of stuff being chewed through. And this is the good side. <laughs> so, like, here, this is all bad. This side is, is shot. I'm going to have to redo everything over here. It's completely shot. That's also the wall that kicks out. So this is a little... It's super hard to see on camera, but this does have a bow in it. But it's one of those ones that I don't really care that much about because it's not that bad. It's maybe a one inch bow at the peak. But yeah, there's some more holes over on this side. That's why I'm gonna take all that wood from the floor over there, use it on this side. It's worn the same, it'll match up. And I just think it's gonna look kind of cool, to be honest with you. But look at that view. Look at that view out of this door. Man, I love it. I absolutely love it. Build ourselves a little deck out here. And just hang out. Not too shabby, huh? But yeah, 
that's all I'm doing for today. We're gonna go run into town. We gotta grab gas and stuff like that, and and plywood for the floor. So probably won't see you guys again today. Um, we'll check in tomorrow and let you know how things are going. Morning. It's the next day, and we're up in the barn. Nova's helping me out today. We're going to start tearing up that old floor and fix this. Well, the best we can. Anyways, that's the plan. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get plywood to put down on this. Oh, door shut down, so it scared me. It's not so much a purchasing power, it's more of an availability. I don't know if there is any around for us to buy. I mean, there is, but I don't really feel like driving an hour and a half away to go get it. So I got to double check, see when orders will be shipped in. Uh, I got to do that right away this morning see if we can get it here today. If we can get it here today, then I'm going to hopefully, fingers crossed, buy some plywood and get this done. See, man, I don't really want to redo this floor because this floor is nice. But if I take this wood and put it over there, it's going to be a lot nicer. I'm redoing the floor. I'm doing the floor in here because I need the structural support of plywood over planked wood. So, um, yeah, let's get you guys set up and let's jump right into it. After much delineation, about five minutes of it here. No, that's a lie. I've been thinking about this this entire time. I don't think I'm actually going to pull the floors up. So I didn't realize this, but all of this is tongue and groove. And it's not fun to pull up because it's been in here for Lord knows how long. Like it's in there and it's underneath all the wall, so it goes past this and all the way to the tin. <sighs> it's not easy to take out. And I know it's probably the right way to just take it out, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm going to do is clean up the floor as best I can and just put plywood down over the top of it. Now there's probably a lot of people that are like, oh my lord, you can't do that, Tom. What are you doing? What are you doing? And you're probably right. But the way I see it too is it adds more strength for the gym. So now not only am I going to have these 1x4s or 1x5 uh, planks in here, but I'm also going to have 5 8 plywood over the top of it. So I think I'm going to be okay. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay. I am, however, going to go underneath and get the floor joists that are bad, get those straightened out. And I might end up jacking up this corner because I don't know if you can see, but these are kiltered a little bit. Nothing that's too concerning, but I think it's going to give me a flatter floor. Like I said, I'm no expert at this. This is just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Hoping to do this stuff the right way. But I, again, I think what I'm going to do is just clean up the floor. And plywood over the floor. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be structural enough. I am going to reinforce the joists. Like, because some of them are like this. And I don't know about you, but I don't trust that to have a gym right there. So I think that's my plan. I think that's how I'm gonna end up doing this. And as for this side, so I don't know if the camera picks this up, but this is a really bad hump right here. This is where the floor actually breaks to go this way and this way. So like I said, I might end up trying to jack that side up. I'm gonna get the floor 
leveled and squared first, and then do that. This also isn't a project that I want to take two years, three years, whatever the case is. This is a project that's just going to be get it good, get it solid, get it safe, and do it that way. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. As for the floors in here, I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. These guys might just get new flooring fix in here. I gotta figure that one out. But I think for over there, I'm gonna do just plywood over the floor. That way I can get a little bit thinner plywood too. I might do half inch. I gotta look at some numbers and see how thick things are because if I do a half an inch, there's one and a half inches of, of load bearing wood over there. So I think that should be okay. But I am gonna go downstairs and work on those floor joists and get those things set up first. I'm gonna work only on that side. I'm not gonna focus on this side because nothing's happening up here yet. And I think I still, I have like seven two by sixes. So I wanna make sure that that side's good and squared away, ready to go before I worry about this side. Cause this side, uh, yeah, I don't know. This side might just get plywood too, you know? I, what the heck is that? Who really knows? I don't know. People are over there shooting and it's making me want to shoot too. So I don't really want to work anymore. All right. I'm going to bring you guys downstairs, get you set up, and we'll get those floor joists supported. y'all that's all i'm getting done for right now um i mean it's not by any means level on that end uh, i'll show you the string line it's gonna come up another like two inches well not really two inches because that's high over there i don't have it at the bottom but it uh it needs to come up quite a bit it's a whole lot better than it was but she definitely needs to come up yeah so oh unfortunately hopefully i don't fall off the ladder here unfortunately that's not going to get totally level until i lift that entire wall up and do what i did over there because that's it's anchored into the foundation still. The foundation's tipped. I got to cut those anchors. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to cut those anchors until, like, it's time to do it. So that's all that's getting done right there for now. Um, it is lunchtime, and we're going to have a pool day. So maybe we'll take you guys with in the pool. All right, well, change of plans. We are not going to the pool because it's currently raining out, and it's going to keep raining out. Doesn't look that bad on camera, but there's gonna be a lot of thunderstorms here coming in a little bit, so I guess we're just gonna keep at doing barn stuff and uh, see how that goes. 
I don't know. It's good, good old Minnesota weather. I tell you, it's it's the best weather you can have. It's either humid and you're dying, or it's uh, thunderstorming. That's our that's our summers here in Minnesota. So, yay, 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 yay. But whatever. We'll get these floor joists put in. The ones that are sagging really bad. I think I'm just gonna do every other, unless there's ones that are bad that need to be sistered up there's a couple of them so set you guys back up on the gopro and we'll get after it Well guys, that's all I'm getting done today. It's uh, it's hot. I mean, I only have three left. But the main thing that I wanted to reinforce was here because this is where the power rack's gonna sit. So most of the weight is gonna sit there for the majority of the time. So I didn't want that to be structurally compromised at all. So that's why that's getting the most reinforcement there. The rest of the floor is just gonna be fixing the bats bad runners, which there's not a whole lot on that side. This side there's one, two, three, three of them. So maybe I'll use the rest of that, the rest of those two by sixes for my other side of the barn. But that's all I'm doing for right now. It's 1.30, we still got stuff to do. And I would like to hang out with my family for the holiday weekend. So I appreciate you guys watching. I enjoy doing this stuff. Um, I'll probably be back out here maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to use logic to the best of my knowledge. I'm trying to use the best of my knowledge to produce wisdom in something that I don't know what I'm doing. So it's going real good. But I'm a disaster. I'm messy. I'm dirty. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Like soaked through. Very dirty, obviously. I'm going to go take a shower, and I'm going to spend all kinds of time with my family. Like, look at My hat is soaked all the way through. I'm hot. I'm going to go hang out with my family, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, it's the next day. It's hot. I'm sweating already because Brandy's got me doing all kinds of things up here. If you can't tell, she's got quite the art project going today. So... It's actually the 4th of July today, and I'm taking a break from doing the floor. There's a baby over there. Taking a break from doing the floor to help Brandy with her little project she's got going on. She wants to make, uh, like, what is it, pallet picnic tables, honey? Are they, like, screwed together or just kind of... Yeah, like, it's like it's like an actual picnic table. And she's over here picking up glass. And it's... Uh, it's very humid and gross out. It's very humid and gross out. It stormed all night, all morning. It's, two, two, oh my gosh, it's four o'clock already. And we're just starting this. It's humid, it's extremely humid. But like I said, taking a break from doing the floors, all I gotta do is patch the holes and go get some, some 34. 34 tongue and groove boards for over there. And then the floor will be done on that side. So we're gonna help her do this. So, <laughs> we got baby over there. He's hanging out with us today. Hi, baby. Yeah. He's got quite the look on his face right now. <laughs> so, honey, it's hot. Oh, I do wanna show you my 4th of July outfit. Honey, honey, hold this, here, here, hold it. Look at, look at me. Oh, you can't see me because I'm standing over, stand over there. No, I'm scared of it over here. Uh, up and down so they can see me. Oh my gosh! And sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty. 
So that's my 4th of July outfit. Yeah, wow, look at that view. It's so beautiful. Oh, and I gotta cut the grass. Cause it's long. It's long out there. And I wanna shoot. <laughs>